here to teach some folks uh, who have disabilities uh, how to use a universally accessible canoe kayak launch and um, figure out the best ways for them to get in and out of the water. They're really easy to use. In fact, they're designed to be easy to use by anybody. Somebody with a disability, somebody without disabilities, kids, people who are aging, people who have knee or back issues. Um, so we designed it to be easy for anybody to use independently, and that's one of the key things. It's, a, it's independently usable by anybody. The rails on the side of the launch are designed to help guide your kayak right into the rack and drop it into the cradle and you pull it back and get your seat right next to where you're going to get in. So probably what you want to do is either stick your paddle in there or you can lay it on the side of the launch right here. You're going to hang on to the front part of the boat and notice the bumpers on the side. He's not in danger of rolling off. Okay. The rails have been designed to help guide the kayak into the rack. So he's going to pick up the front of the boat with the rails. He's going to get that nose, he's going to lock his brakes, get that nose on that rack, and then slide it around, and it's going to help drop it in the hole. So he has to reposition to get himself in the right position to move it, but he can leave it on those rails. It'll sit there. I don't want my paddle to fall. Yep, and you know what? Your paddle. Um, there you go. You sit or transfer onto the boarding bench, and the boarding bench is designed to have a four inch change of level. So you scoot your fanny over, drop down four inches, scoot your fanny over, and at the edge there, there is a shelf that you pull out. The bottom out. one is for kayaks. Get it all the way over before you sit on it. It has to go all the way over on that bar. Perfect. We want it that when you scoot your butt over on that, boarding seat, you are centered right over your kayak or your canoe, and you're at the right height to just lower yourself down into the seat an easy distance. And then you get your paddle, pick up your paddle, and you hang onto the side rails, and there's rollers in the rack under your boat, and you pull gently out to the end of the launch, and it kind of tips down, so put your nose into the water, and the rails continue out on your sides though, so you get your whole boat floating in the water, but you still have side rails that you can hang on to. You get settled, confident, pick up your paddle, then pull yourself out into the stream. Now make sure you feel like you're pretty comfortable and balanced. Slide forward. And you can pull yourself out into the water and you're off. Oh, this is no, I, I think it's great. I like how this is set up. This is this is gonna help a lot of people out. When you, when I got out of the launch and onto the water, the sense of freedom that you feel that you're not restricted by you know wheels and canes and everything else. It's just a just kind of go, wow. Clearly, it's helpful for um, you know people people in wheelchairs, but uh, you know this would be helpful for. Elderly people, overweight people, I mean, people who are in good shape, you know, I mean, it's just less bending, less moving around, and uh, less chance of falling, you know. Independence is one thing that they offer. They offer an opportunity to get out and paddle, to get into the water in a very safe and secure way. It's just, it's just a sense of freedom. It's um, so much depends on when you have a disability, and, and mine is more neuromuscular, um, you have so many people that you depend on so every time I get a chance that I can do something and do it independently it's just it's kind of a euphoria. There are probably a lot of people out there in wheelchairs or you know with other physical problems and they think well I don't want to do that because of A, B, C, D and E but with this it'd be easy. <laughs>